Welcome to the show, I'm Ryan Gomez. And I'm John Gapora. Hi there. Here's what we learned about Aether Revolt from the World Champions. Ow! Alrighty, our review of Aether Revolt is underway. We had our two World Champions in residence. We had Brian Bronduin and we had Seth Manfield. We had to review every single card from the set, giving them a score of one out of five in both standard and modern. So we're going to jump right in here. Today we're looking at artifact yes, cards. we are. Kick it off with a big one here, Heart of Kirin. Okay, so for standard, the grades they gave each card, they gave four cards total a five. And three of those fives were unanimous. So Heart of Kirin, one of the unanimous fives. This card is going to be a big deal, and with Smuggler's Copter Band, it can really only get better. Absolutely, absolutely. This is a easy pick up for there. How about Ornithopter? What's going on with this? <laughs> okay, so Ornithopter already exists in Modern and they pegged it as the most influential card for the from the set of all the artifacts for Modern. Kind of a no-brainer there, kind yeah. of a little bit of a gimme. It's in that affinity deck, you sure. know. So, yeah. it's yeah, that was <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of a misnomer, but hey, if Ornithopter is technically in the set, they graded it. Sure, so they don't like it because it adds anything new, they just know that it's going to do good work. Exactly. They, it's a it's a known quantity. Okay, all right, how about this one here, Spire of Industry. So when I looked at this card, it didn't seem, it seemed pretty underwhelming, but here's the thing. Getting to add colorless mana for no life lost and getting to add any color is really good. It's not going to be in every deck. But in standard, it's going to apply to a lot of decks since the world of Kaladesh is all about artifacts. And in modern, the decks that want it are, they're gonna be able to make really good use out of it. This might replace Glimmer Void in Affinity. And it's reason number 6,912 not to use wastes. That's important, very important. Do not use wastes. <laughs> all right, All right. next one up, we've got Aether Sphere Harvester. This is a 3-5 vehicle? Yeah, right? yeah, it's got flying, it can get lifelink, it makes some energy when it shows up. It's doing a lot of weird little things and it can kind of fit with a bunch of different decks. It seems really flexible, which Seth rates pretty high. Yeah, yeah, uh, super low crew cost too, mm -hmm. which is gonna be important for when you're trying to crew it up. It's going to swing a lot of races. If you're in a racing situation, that lifelink is going to be super important. Yeah. Okay, so now these two cards are going head to head. This is going to be a little weird because, so here's the thing Gonti's Aether Heart. Mm -hmm. uh, Brian Bronduin gave it a four, Seth gave it a two, but Lifecrafter's Bestiary, Seth gave that a four, and Brian Bronduin gave that a two. So these two are kind of you know, undecided on these two cards. One thinks one's going to be great, the other thinks the other's going to be great. Sure. Where do you fall? Well, personally, uh, I picked Gonti's Aether Heart as being one of our best performing pre-sellers. Turns out I was way off my mark there. Uh, but it's good to know that the world champ, you know, and I tend to agree on yeah. the power of this card. I mean, taking an extra turn is probably one of the best things you can do in Magic, short of just drawing cards flat out. Totally. Uh, the hoops you have to jump through to make this one happen, mm, I don't know that it's really worth it. So, I kind of agree with you. I think Gonti's Aether Heart is really sweet, and I don't actually think... There are lots of ways to get energy. All the, um, all the common, you know, kind of artifacts out of true. Kaladesh, all the... There's just lots of ways to generate energy in the standard format. That's true, but if your deck is just making energy, then what are you doing with that extra turn? Making more energy. Like, you need to have a payoff in there, too, and I think that's where the struggle is. I guess so. So this head-to-head is really interesting because it's going to show off a lot of their philosophies on evaluating yes. cards. Uh, Brian Bronduin is all about kind of building the board. You know, taking an extra turn is going to advance that board. Whereas Seth is really preoccupied with getting a lot of cards in hand, worrying about winning the game later, as sure. seen in Lifecrafter's best year. Right, now I like this one a lot, a lot, a lot, right? So for three mana it comes down, you just get that free scry every turn. I would almost pay three just to have that effect. It's like Thassa. Like us, right? Yeah. So, and then on top of that, if you have some green mana laying around, when you drop a creature, now you're drawing cards, and that just is going to snowball really quickly, right? Yeah, I really like that. It's a way to kind of keep your hand full while you're developing your board. It's a really nice card. I dig it a lot. Right, and the cards that you're drawing are going to be good because you just scryed all the garbage out of the way, too. So it, it's a nice, tidy package, and I can see why the world champ is high on this. It really does a lot. Yeah. 
All right, so we covered a lot today. We got a lot more coming up, you know, the rest of the week here. We're going through all the cards, letting you know what the world champions thought. You can catch up on all that over on magic.tcgplayer.com. That's right, magic.tcgplayer.com is articles by the pros. We just picked up Brian Brondewin. We're really happy to have him on. Check out his articles, check out Seth's. No doubt they're gonna be writing about either Revolt all week long. Mm -hmm. And uh, we also sell cards. We sell cards from Kaladesh back. We've got pre-sales for either Revolt still going strong. We've got a buy list. So you should buy cards. You should just come check us out. It's really great. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Goodbye, Internet.